I have AIDS. <laughs> when I was invited by my friend to join a group named Anak Bayan Party List. So I was like, yeah, that's cool. So what do they do? They're activists. Ooh, now we're talking. So like I I just rushed into it and like wanted to join, wanted to go to some stuff. And they have field trips, so that's cool. They're also activists. So in my mind, that's awesome. I can be an activist and travel the Philippines. Yo, it was in my mind. This is too good to be true. This is like one of, one of the greatest things that I could go to. So I did some research, but before that, I sent an email to the group itself. So I said, what kind of group is this? What kind of ideology do you prefer? I'm a leftist libertarian. These are what I want. These are my opinions. After that, I did some research. A lot of it, actually. I could not find an Akbayan part of this in the internet or in YouTube at least. Uh, I did find something, but it was Anakbayan US. So that's the closest I can I can find when it comes to Anakbayan. I did find some news articles, but let's talk about that later. Firstly, Anakbayan in the US is simple. They are a socialist party and they are connected to Jose Maria Sison. So that was one big red flag for me. Secondly, I went to some news articles and then watch some stuff about them in the news and this is what interested me at this point there are a lot of disappearances when it comes to this kind of group of students disappearing not going home like a few days after they're not going home and then they they just appear out of nowhere and their parents are well understandably worried about them so there was this kind of case back then i was like hmm Hmm. Actually, I was okay by that. Like, I can disappear. Like, I can go on field trips without my mom really giving a fuck because our family is really liberated. We don't like being conservative. So, if you're 18 or 17, you can just go with your life. I trust you. Like, you can go. You have the freedom to do so. So, I really don't have to worry about being scolded or being grounded or whatever. But still, this was like a, a big safety red flag right here. I did more research until I found the best thing of all. Jose Maria Season, like the one I said earlier, as you guys may not know, he is the leader of the Communist Party of the Philippines. Yeah, whatever, communist, communism, what? It doesn't really mean anything. The kind of communism that they're going for is the communism of Mao Zedong. Yes, the communist boy that made China. So I was like, hold up, wait a minute. This ain't the group that I go for. This ain't the group that I wanted. This is not the great group that I want. In my mind, well, what the fuck is this? Damn, what kind of group did I join? I was worried. I was worried because I sent an email asking them about details and like also told them that I wanted to join. No. 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 Tu es fausse. Je ne suis communiste. Je suis désolé. Oh, I can speak French, yo. 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 Yo, clip that shit. Clip that shit right there. I asked myself, how can I be an activist without joining this? And at the same time, having a kind of group that I can join, which doesn't really contradict with my own beliefs or with the law. Because this, the CPP or the New People's Army, which is connected to the Communist Party of the Philippines, is a terrorist now. So, no, I am not gonna join that. Even if I did join that, no, I'm not gonna- I'm not- I'm not- I'm not a communist. I'm not a communist, man. Fuck those communists. I realized that they're a socialist kind of group. Like, Anak Bayan is a socialist kind of group. Like, they're striving for a socialist kind of Philippines. No, this is a red flag right there. No, no. After that, I had the reason to watch a lot about the NPA and learn about them. And 
a lot of people there like i can relate to them and at the same time what the fuck are you doing there you should be at school learning history learning politics learning that communism is bullshit after that i i realized there is a big problem with philippine politics nowadays Like there's a big conundrum in Philippine politics today. You're you're either with Duterte or you're a communist or a leftist. I mean, when you're a leftist, a lot of Filipinos don't know about this. Like if you're a leftist, that means you're a communist. That's not what it is. You leftists, if you make a mistake, shoot them dead. What about leftist libertarians? What about libtards? What about social democrat social democratic people? There's a lot of ideologies in politics and you can't just say leftist and assume that it's a communist kind of government or it's a communist kind of ideology. It's kind of worrying that a lot of Filipino teenagers are just gonna join this kind of organization just because it does not like unregulated capitalism and it hates the current government so activist teenagers are just gonna join this blindly not knowing what the ide ideology of the group stands for that's not great so i learned a lot with that experience this opened my mind to a lot of things about joining groups like this up until now anak bayan party list has not uh, replied to my email so that's cool i guess <laughs> communism and socialism in the Philippines will, will just not work. It's not just gonna, it's not gonna work. Anyways, I made a second account. It's like dedicated for all the shit posting or whatever because this channel is gonna be a serious channel, and it blew up because of the of the video essay of uh, Rainbow Six Quarantine. So this is not gonna be like all the shit posting stuff or whatever. All the shit post posting stuff goes to my my second channel which is called an alcoholic journalist <laughs> so yeah thank you guys for watching i hope you guys enjoyed leave a like comment down and share this video if you have to but subscribe please anyway i'm gonna finish this because this is getting cold and i don't like that so anyways yeah do not join an akbayan party list if you're not a communist or socialist that's what that's just what i'm gonna say to you so should you join it it depends on you if you're a communist or socialist but in my case if you're just if you just hate duterte and nothing else i suggest you don't learn politics learn about history learn about philosophy then if you're like confident enough to join that then good for you Like, I don't understand why a lot of, like, these kinds of uh, activists are just storming into buildings, shouting. Like, bro, can you be civilized? Can you be at least civilized for a bit? Our president isn't even civilized, so how can you even tell to the people that you're higher than the president? This is why I love debates. <laughs> like, it's not really about... Uh, it's not really about who's the winner, it's about learning, and it's about knowing about the different side. Like, I'd rather lose a debate and be humiliated by it than go to a press con and shout, This is the Philippines. This is the Philippines. No. Fuck that shit. I could go on adventures, I can go on trips, I can just... Like, this is like the best thing of my life. But, I'm not gonna be an NPA. If it's for the Philippines, good. I just don't want my family, and I just don't want the police to be arresting me. And I can understand that you have... I can understand that there's, there are field trips going on, or there are like trips going on, but give them back to their parents, at least with the parents' consent. Jose Maria season. Quick note. We're already in the 21st century. You probably read a lot of communist stuff or communist communism books, and that's cool. But it just doesn't work. 
and it's not about the uh, it's not about the economic shit going here and there it's about corruption so imagine communism where the government has tons and tons and tons of control over the means of production you get the idea right you get the idea right 